Hello there, lovers of cardboard and everything plastic. Today we are going to be painting the Wraith from Engines of Madness. Now the Wraith figure here unfortunately turned out to be one of my least favorite figures from Mansions of Madness to actually paint. It's not a very detailed figure and also there's some weird stuff like the eye sockets which are just basically big giant holes. And also it's partially my fault for trying to be a little bit advanced here and do some sort of advanced technique. I don't know if I captured it quite right but there's two different ways that I tried to do it and at the very least you can attempt it yourself. Or a good alternative is to check out my Zombicide painting video for the Spectral Zombies. And you can use a similar technique to those to basically paint this figure. So jumping straight into it. First things first, I primed the figures all in white. The first thing I did was create sort of a slight wash with Nurgling Green. I watered Nurgling Green down just a little bit more than I normally do. This is just to make it sort of semi-transparent and relatively thin when you put it on. We're gonna be painting all of the skin with this color. The nice thing with this, since the paint's pretty thin, you can just completely paint over the arms, even though there's some clothing there. And then also, when you paint the torso and stuff, you actually want to sort of block out where the figure's legs and sort of torso meet. Next up, I take Uthoron Gray, and I'm gonna do a very heavy dry brush. For those who have never used the dry brush, you'll use a brush just like this and you're going to wipe away most of the paint when you use it and then basically just flick back and forth across the figure. I almost want this color to actually cover almost all the green. We want a pretty pale looking sort of greenish figure. Next up, I'm making a wash from black. So you can take your favorite black from any brand basically water it way down. It's gonna be almost a wash. You could almost use non oil for this, but I have found non oil will be look a little bit too smoky. And this is what I'm going to call the simple way to do transparent clothing. So you're gonna slather this black all over the clothing. You can also slather it really just all over those arm areas where the clothing is. You may wanna do this a couple of times to get sort of heavier areas. And then for a little bit of touch up, you can take your original Nurgling Green color, basically pick out those points where the holes are on the arms. <music> Lastly, you can use a slightly watered down, but still relatively thick black paint to color the hair. As for the eyes for the figure, for my first attempt to color in the eyes, I tried to fill in the sockets with some matte varnish. They're pretty deep, so I did maybe about two or three brushfuls full, and it still didn't quite fill the entire eye socket, but I got relatively close. And I tried to do sort of a highlight here. I did Nurgling Green, Then I did a bit of moot green. You'll use these exact same colors to also fill in the mouth. The effect was relatively muted. I'm not sure I loved this particular eye effect, but it is one way you could do it. And that's basically it. That's the very simple way to do sort of a transparent clothing look. It's not going to be the neatest thing in the world. My clothing came out slightly grungy, but it's still give somewhat of a transparent look. As for the second way, this one takes a long time to get a really good effect. So we're gonna paint the skin the exact same way that we did previously. And I'll fast forward through this part because you've already seen it. This time though, we're not blocking out where we think the skin might show through the clothing. Then you're gonna take a relatively dark color. I'd use German gray, and you're gonna color in all that clothing including the stuff on the arms. You can also use German gray to color in the hair.
And then of course, we're just gonna go over all of this with Nuln Oil. And then we're gonna start the long build-up process. You're gonna take German Grey and you're gonna mix it with our original Nurgling Green color in probably about 20 different stages. Your first highlight, you're not gonna really notice. It's really just gonna be a slightly lighter gray at that point. You can even use this to highlight just the other parts of the clothing. But as you continually add green to your mix, you're gonna continually go over the same areas over and over and over. Eventually you'll see a slight buildup where that, there's this slight green color. And you might want to build up even further so that there are some areas that appear almost fully green but are still relatively dark. Or if you really wanted to go even further green so that it appears like your chest is glowing or something along those lines, you could do that. I stopped personally at a relatively dark stage still, but there's still some bright spots poking through some of the clothing. I then went through mixed German gray with a little bit of white in about three stages and kind of just hit a few bits and pieces of other areas where this green color probably isn't gonna be showing through, but the clothing could still be look a little bit lighter. This should also help to smooth out some of those transitions from the dark green color to the really dark black color. I also highlighted the hair with this mix. For my second attempt at eyes, I actually used Hex Wraith Flame. This gave me a much sort of brighter green sort of glow to her mouth and eyes. Then also did hit it with a little bit of moot green. And that does it for these figures. It's still relatively easy to paint these figures up. There's not a lot of colors. There's not a lot of areas to really paint. And it's relatively of a small figure. So that's kind of the nice part. You have two different ways you can try. You may be able to have more skill and do even a better job than I did here. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching all you lovers of cardboard and plastic. And I will see you next time. Hi there, I'm assuming if you got through the video, you must have really liked it. And if you did, please remember to like the video itself, leave a comment, and hit that big red subscribe button for more content. If you'd like to check out some of my older content, there'll be a link to check out a lot of my older reviews. And also, if you're a miniature painter, you can check out some of my miniature painting tutorials. All right, I'll see you next video. Bye.